Thanks, Leslie. It's 816 now on the Money Watch today. Americans are digging deeper into debt again. U.S. credit card debt topped $38 billion last year. The average household now owes nearly seven grand on their credit cards. Michelle Ogden is certified financial planner with Michelle Ogden and Company. Good morning. Welcome back. So this had been getting better for a little while. Why are Americans taking on more credit card debt again? It's directly linked with consumer confidence. And as consumer confidence rises, so does credit card debt. You know, we, we spend based on what we believe, and these people believe everything's okay. So, so spend away. Yeah. But yet, when it was down, we were paying, we were paying off that off. debt, right? Because we absolutely. were scared. Yes, absolutely. It just, just doesn't make sense at all. It re I mean, it does, but it's it doesn't. It's all psychological. It really mm -hmm. is. All right, so why is this such a problem? I mean, it's kind of an obvious question, but, but the, the, I guess the answer is a little bit more complicated, right? Well, because debt steals dreams. And if you owe a lot of money, you're going to be forced to take a job that's going to pay enough to cover all your debt. And the credit card companies are stealing from your financial future basically they're earning the interest that you would have earned if you had invested that money instead of giving it to them all right so what do you do how do you what are some strategies to pay down this debt and do it pretty quickly if you can you know I highly recommend listening to Dave Ramsey and do the debt snowball where you list your credit cards you know from smallest balance to the, the largest balance and just start p picking it off because progress equals happiness and if you see you're making progress you'll continue doing it all right. I, I shudder to ask this question, but is there such a thing as good debt? Absolutely. You know, everybody knows the other people's money. We want to use other people's money. Credit cards pay me 2% for my kid's college. Um, you know, there's four questions you'll want to ask yourself. Is the economic return greater than the economic cost? The majority of the stuff we buy, the answer is flat out no. Are you and your spouse united in the decision to take on new, more debt? And then is there really no other alternative? You know, we so quickly go into debt to go to school when you know you might have worked your way through college waiting tables. I, I need a quick answer on this, so I sure. hate to throw this at sure. you, but is it okay to use credit cards if you pay them off every month? Absolutely. Okay. I, I love them because you can track everything. Cash okay. disappears. All right, Michelle, yeah. thanks. Great advice. No problem. Thank you. Lauren?